and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And today I'm going to have a look at a classic puzzle that's been sent to us. Um, just before I do that, do check out what's going on on Patreon. All the new puzzle hunts videos coming up and, uh, and already up. So worth checking that out, um, especially if you are a subscriber to Patreon. Now, um, this video was sent to us by Jonathan Bost, and very unusually for a first-time compiler, he sent us a classic. Now, I do encourage that. We like to have a certain amount of classic output because these are the puzzles people see the most of in their normal lives, and they like to get tips on technique, quite understandably. So it's a good way of getting a puzzle onto the channel if it's a good puzzle. So let's see if it is and um, you can try it on the link below the video before watching my solve and uh, I'm gonna try it now so let's get cracking well we've got threes looking into box one and ruling out all those five cells so that gives us a three straight away up there which is nice um, the other three in the left hand three boxes must be down in one of those cells um, what else can we find? We've got one in one of those two. Ah, oh, three. Oh, keep going with the threes. Yeah, that three rules out all those. That one's ruled out by that. So three is confined to those two cells, which gives us a three in one of those two. Um, and the other threes in the grid have to be confined to those two cells. These two are quite useful in ruling out a whole bunch of cells in the central box. Now, what else have we got? Four. Yes, we can place a four. From those cells, we can rule out all of these. They see them, so four must go into the corner with a counterpart over there. Twos, and they could be all along there. I'm not going to note them in. Ah. Oh, eight and six they're very confined in this box in fact we can place eight easily and eight is there and six must be there and that's always powerful just to leave those available empty cells can be powerful and that nine is ruled out of those so it must go in one of those two and that allows us to place the nine in column one um, yeah, that's a handy configuration if you find it. Six is not there, so it must be down in one of those two for column one. Um, ah, there's a naked single nine from the start that was available, but they're so hard to spot. That makes this a naked two. These top two are in the top row must be seven and six, but we don't know the order. Now five is ruled out of quite a few cells in the central region, so five must be in one of those two. Therefore at the top of that box somewhere. Um, anything else? Can, oh, one can't be down there or there. So one, oh, this is very interesting. One is restricted to those two cells. And look at eight, eight there and there now puts eight in those two. And now we have four cells to which one, three, five, and eight are confined. And that means, and there's four cells for four digits, so two and nine must be a pair in there. Because we could confine one to those two, eight to those two, five to the two at the top, three to the cells on the right, those four cells have to be in eight, three, five, one group. Fascinating. So we get 297138, that's a 4, which fixes the 9. Below it, we've got a 5 6 pair in the middle box. 4 is ruled out of those, so we can put 4 into box 5. 127 triple here, which is easily resolved from the 7 and 2s looking at it. Now that 1 has fixed this whole 4 cell, oops, 4 cell combination because this can't be a one. So it pushes one to there, which pushes eight there, three up and five to the left. And they're all done. That's very neat. Now, one in box three must be in one of those two. 
three down there, but I don't know which one. Okay, this can't be three or seven, so seven is confined in box seven, appropriately. That's not four, so four is in one of those. Hmm, I thought we were going well, but this is petering out a little bit. Ah, seven and six there are ruled out of those cells, and seven and six there can't be there. So this is a six, seven pair left in box three. That means two must be in one of those two cells, because that two can't allow a two into those. Oh, but that doesn't help. Hmm, two's in boxes two, five, and eight. Very uncertain at the moment. Um, hmm, this is tricky, isn't it? Now, we've got a four, six pair here. Ah, oh, that four has resolved these possible fours. Okay, that is good. That's not that tricky. In fact, I just didn't spot it. No, I don't think we can do much more. Is this a naked? No, that could be two or eight. Um, two, four, seven, six, nine, three, one. Ah, oh. ah. Oh, now this cell is very interesting. Suddenly, why is that? When it can have all sorts of possibilities. When it's not part of any obvious pairs in the box. Well, it can see. One, two, three, four, and eight in its row, and nine in its column. Yeah, that gives it three possibilities, five, six, and seven, which doesn't look very confining, but look up the column. We've got a five, six, seven triple spread across the three boxes. Um, I bet we can use that somehow, yes. Look, with five, six, seven, nine out of the way, um, well, let's just note what the others can be. That's two, four, or eight. This could be any of two, three, four, or eight. But five, six, seven, nine are gone. So that's two or three. That's one, three, or eight. No, not three, just one or eight. Five, six, seven, nine, two, four, three in the box. Yes. Yes, and that is the point. So this one is one, two, or eight. And what you've suddenly got now is this bent triple in the, uh, in box eight. Because of this five, six, seven triple in column five, we could restrict these two cells to not include five, six, and seven. And suddenly we've got this one, two, eight triple. Now with one, two, eight, three, four ruled out there, we've got to put in five, six, nine, and seven. And you can see this cell has become a peculiar single now. Not really naked, but because one, two, and eight are used up in the box, and six, nine, seven, four in the row, three in the box as well, that has to be five. And that's, that's really neat. Um, that five sorts out the six, five pair. This can no longer be five. Um, you've got two or seven there. It's a two, three, seven triple in the middle box now. Now that six, no, that's not what's helping. That's one or three. This is eight or three. Oh, surely this is going to help. One, two, eight, five, four, three, gone. This is nine or seven. This is six, seven or nine. So we've got these two bent triples now in box eight. Um, that can't be four, I'm sure. Oh, well, we've still got work to do. That's good. Um, that's not nine, so it's two or five. That's nine or five. So we've kind of got this forced triple up the right hand column. That's two or eight. That's six or nine. Five, three, nine. That's two or seven. Oh, well, no, we're not done at all here. Let's keep going. Ah, oh, nine in this row must be in one of those, oops, one of those two. 
Are we off for nines down here? No, there's still lots of possibilities. Okay, right, five in this row. Yes, that is the salient point. Five there is ruling out that cell. Five there is ruling out that one. So five in this box must be in one of those two. That gives us a five over here. That sorts out seven and three. The whole box is done. We can finish off column three now. We've got a four, five pair in column two. Now, six, seven, nine, triple. We can't really do that. This cell is resolved by that three. We've limited it to two possibilities, so it's an eight. That finishes off the bottom row. That sorts out that 218 triple that got us going. Uh, those can't be eight anymore. The two there looks into this triple as well. Gets us the seven. That can no longer be seven for two reasons. Now eight has to be up here. Two, seven, eight, four, five, and three. Ah, this is the last cell for a 3 in box 9 now, which fixes the 5. A 6-9 pair sorts out the 2-9 in box 6. 8 there, this is now a 2. And six, seven. This is 5 and 1 to finish the box apart from the 6-7 pair. That 5 looks across at this 4-5 pair. 3, 4 and 9 here, we're getting close now. 9, 4, 3, that triple's all resolved. And that fixes most of the other cells in the top. In fact, they're all done in the top three boxes. Two and three is now resolved. That's a very nice puzzle. If that's really a first, Jonathan, I like it. Well done. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good classic there. I hope you enjoyed that. I um, hope you did well at it. But uh, certainly forgive yourself if you were struggling, especially with... Um, spotting those triples down the middle and in box 8 afterwards. You kind of have to do them in that order, I think. Now, there may be other ways to get through that puzzle, but I had quite a lot of it done before that point, so it may be the best way, certainly. Um, I hope that was useful and helps you with uh, the way you think about classic Sudoku. And do join us again soon for, for more on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.